Hello everybody! Have you ever faced a situation where you forgot your Windows password and you tried all the different passwords that you could remember but they never worked? We wanted to share with you the greatest tip to all our customers and followers how to crack a Windows 10 login password. Hi, my name is Sibyl and I am the proprietor of Trinity Computer Solution. Over the past two weeks, we have been getting a lot of calls from our customers who have tried to log into their system after a very long time but unable to recollect their passwords. Now, if you take your system to a local technician nearby your house, they may suggest you that we will have to reinstall the operating system for the system to get back working. That's when I decided to make this video so I can help all of you to crack Windows 10 login password all by yourself with the help of a pen drive. Now before I proceed, let me tell you, please exercise caution while performing these steps because a wrong step may lead to a non-bootable system and you may end up losing data. Now don't worry, keep following our channel. I will give you step-by-step -step instruction on how to recover your data as well, even from a corrupt and a non-bootable operating system. All excited? So let's get started. So here we have our login screen. Now when you click on login, it will ask you for a password. So I'm going to try a few passwords. Now this is asking for a PIN. So I'm going to try multiple PINs. It is not going to work. It will give you the error telling the PIN is incorrect. Try again. I'm going to choose sign in option. And I'm going to try with a password. I'm going to try multiple passwords that I can remember. But for some reason, it doesn't allow me to, it doesn't allow me to log in. So this is when, I actually use the help of a Windows bootable pen drive. Now I have the pen drive with me right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this. I have a pen drive. This is a Windows bootable pen drive. So I'm going to actually connect this to the USB slot of the system. And I'm going to try booting from the pen drive. Let me restart the system. Now here I am actually trying to restart my computer and I am actually going to choose the pen drive which is the fourth option you see here it's the fourth option I am going to choose that and hit enter now it will pull up two options based on the type of bootable USB you have created which I am going to actually talk about in my later videos now I have a 64 bit and a 32 bit on my pen drive so I'm going to choose 64-bit which is suitable for this system which I'm working on. After I hit enter, it comes up with these screens. It loads the files. Goes through the boot process. Okay, now here we have three options. Language to install, I have English, US time and currency format. I'm going to choose English India. So I'm using the up arrow key and I'm going to choose India. So you see automatically the keyboard or input methods, the third option automatically gets changed to English India. And I use that or I can also use my mouse, choose this and then come here and click next. Now here, what we need to be careful is please do not click on install now because this takes us to a different screen. Instead, we click on repair your computer. We get three options, out of which we choose the second option, which is troubleshoot. And out of these options, we choose system image recovery. And I choose the operating system, definitely Windows 10. Immediately, once you choose system image backup and you come here, you get this option where, you, where it says it cannot find an image on your system. I mean that's okay, we are not going to actually remake the system, so let's click on cancel. This is the only option that we can choose, so we'll click next. Now you are in this particular screen. Now here, we have to click on advanced. When you click advanced, search for a system image on the network or install a driver. Now we will be choosing 
the second option which is install a driver from a device that is attached to this computer because we are not actually trying to use it from a network so we are choosing the second one and we are pressing ok to select now you see here this is where we actually see all the drives on your computer you see this PC now you double click on this PC you get all the disk drives now I'm going to find out or locate which is my drive where the operating system was installed okay okay so to easily identify the drive in which the operating system is installed just look for a couple of folders called windows or users or program files program file x86 as a 32 bit version just look out for these four folders and if you have these four folders it's definitely your windows drive now here i'm going to navigate to windows and then i scroll down and I find system32 folder okay now this is a very critical folder so please do not delete or please do not uh, change any files in this except the ones which I'm going to show you scroll down to the file section because you have folders in the, in the top and then scroll down to the file section come down you need to go to set hc i'm going to type this out on the screen so it's easier for you locate the file set hc so here it is this is the file okay now this is the first method i'm going to actually teach you different methods of using when you want to bypass the windows login password this is the step number one so this is set hc this is the file i'm going to rename it so i'm going to right click the file and click on rename and i'm going to just rename it as set hc one dot bak so it's just a backup file okay so you will not see it refreshing live because there is no refresh here which is happening live i can either click refresh and then i come back and see if the file is renamed to what we want Yeah, you see here set hc.bak this is the file that we have renamed now the next file that we need to find is the command prompt that will be in cmd i'm sure you're all familiar with that some of you have even used a lot of commands yeah see this is the file cmd okay now this we have to right click again and click on rename now we are going to rename this as set hc okay we're going to rename command prompt as set hc we'll refresh again and we'll come down to set hc and see if the file is there remember it is not in cmd yeah you see here the command prompt is right now set to set hc now once we have renamed these two files we click on cancel we click on cancel we exit out of this window and now we choose the option exit and continue to windows 10 so what happens now your computer restarts now we restart and come back to the login screen again my windows is booting up it will shortly come up with the login okay so here we have the login and i click here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually press the shift key five to six times so i provoke the sticky keys remember the set hc is the sticky key so i'm going to provoke opening up the sticky key so i'm going to press shift multiple times hey you go here see you have the the command prompt coming up usually when you press the shift key five to six times the sticky keys comes out but now we have renamed that to command prompt now we can type the command i'm going to actually put down the command which is control space user passwords 2 so it's control space user t-a-s-s-w-r-e-s passwords 2 and i hit enter there you go you have the user accounts opening up 
Okay, now in this user account, you it will list out all the usernames that are here. Now, since I have only one user on this system, it brings up only one. Now, depending on which user you want to reset the password for, click on that user and choose reset password. Now, you can even give a new password here, or if you do not want a password, you just have to leave it blank and click OK. For now, I will leave it blank and I click click OK and I click OK and I exit by typing exit and hit enter. So once I choose exit, it again comes up with this particular window. Now depending on what type of login you have chosen, you need to make this adjustment. Now if you are set to the login which asks for a pin, you need to change, click on sign in option and change to the password mode. When you bring your hover your cursor on that, it's it is the password. So if you are sign in as already a password based sign in, you just have to click on that and there you go. Now this is how you actually crack your Windows 10 password. And this was step number one. Now remember the step one is not completed. It will be complete only after we rename that file back to its original names. So let's get back. Let's restart the computer. And I'm going to actually boot from the pen drive again. So there I have, I'm going to actually boot from the pen drive. And I follow the same options. I'm going to just fast forward these steps which we have already done. system image recovery, I choose the operating system, I click cancel, I click next, I click on advanced, install a driver, insert the installation media, I click OK and here again I come to the Windows installation drive, I go to Windows, I scroll down to system 32 folder and I come down, locate the set hc file which I rename. Ok, now I'm going to right click and rename it to cmd remember it is cmd and we rename the set hc one dot bak we just rename it to set hc okay and i refresh and i come back i locate cmd yes cmd is back to its original name and i try locating set hc and there we are it's back to set hc now we restart the system this completes the first step of cracking the Windows password. Now I will teach you one more step for those of you who have turned off your sticky keys. And if pressing the shift key multiple times does not work, I will teach you the next step. This is step number two or method number two. We boot to the same folder again. Since we are already aware of these steps, I'm going to actually do this pretty fast. I'm going to choose, I'm going to come back to the same folder. Okay, now I'm going to actually come to Windows and System 32. Now here, initially the, the first method was we were trying to rename the file called setHC. The second method, we're going to rename the file called Magnify. Most of you have got an idea what Magnify does. So I'm going to locate this Magnify. I'm going to do the same step. That is, I'm going to rename this dot .bak. Sorry, .bak. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to locate CMD. And I'm going to rename this as magnify okay there we are just confirm this by refreshing
Yes, we have your magnify and magnify 1.8. So I'm going to restart this. Continue to Windows. Okay, so here we have our Windows login screen again. Again, it's asking for a password. So here, we are actually going to choose, you see the ease of access, which is on the right hand side of the screen. Click on that and choose magnify. Okay, and you come up again with the same command prompt. We're going to use the same commands, which is control space user passwords two i'm going to anyway put all these commands in the description and on the screen so hit enter and here i have again and now you see here i'm going to click on reset password this time i'm going to actually give a password okay this doesn't ask for a hint that's good <laughs> And now I click on exit. I come back here. I'm going to actually try the password that I gave. And there we are. We can do the same thing without the hint as well. Or without a password as well. So now to complete this process, we're going to actually do the same thing again. We're going to restart, get back to the pen drive, or boot through the pen drive, and rename the files. crack a Windows login password. So that was the video that we had in store for you. And I'm sure with these two methods, you will be able to crack your Windows 10 login password. Do look forward for more of these videos from our end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be coming back with more of these videos where we will be teaching you how to back up data from a corrupt or a non-bootable operating system how to create bootable pen drives, and also much, much more on computers and CCTV. Look forward to meeting you again. This is Sivan signing off. See you in my next video. Thank you.